What's up YouTube? So in today's video, I'll be talking about the top five mods I think personally are the best for the 05 to 09 Mustangs. And I would say the first one would be a set of lowering springs, coilovers, or air ride suspension. I personally have uh, an airlift kit on my car, but right now I have it aired out to about where the iBox Sport lines that I used to have would sit at so the rear sits at about that height with the ibox sport lines so maybe a little bit higher yeah probably a little bit higher it's like a finger and a half of gap uh in the rear and in the front it's close it's not two fingers exactly so it, it would be like this because my top finger doesn't go on top so i don't really know exactly but i didn't measure it in terms of inches so that's the best estimate i can give you guys but definitely a set of springs paired with i had coney shocks and struts on mine but definitely another set of shocks and struts don't use the stock ones they're going to go out i didn't have to deal with that but i know people that have so swap them out since you're already doing the work and for the second mod i would have to say the second or even the most enjoyable mod you're going to get out of these cars is the exhaust so right now I had a, I have a set of a uh, Borla attacks paired with an off-road X pipe from pipes and uh, shorty headers. But um, before I even had the off-road X pipe on, I only had muffler deletes, and that alone changes your experience when you're driving these cars. Is because the sound from these cars is so great, even compared to the newer Coyotes. So any exhaust system that you put on this is going to sound so mean. It just depends on the loudness that you're trying to go for. So, Borla Stingers, for example, are quieter than the Borla Tacks, but the tone is different. So it all depends what you're going for, as well as when you match it up with an X-Pipe or an H-Pipe. If you want more raspiness, you go with the X-Pipe. If you want more deeper, throatier tone, you go with an H. I love both. I have friends that have H-Pipes. I personally have X, like I said. Uh, but you can't go wrong with either or. The third mod that I believe is the best on the 05 to 09 Mustangs is tail lights. Tail lights are one of the best cosmetic mods you can do to these cars. You can either go with the Gen 5s, a smoked set of tail lights, similar to the stocks. Uh, you can go with the 2010 to 2012 style tail lights. And you used to be able to go with the Vectors, which are the S550 style tail lights, but those are discontinued now. You might be able to snatch up a pair on eBay, but besides that, uh, it's kind of tough to get those nowadays. But those are definitely one of the best looking mods you can do to these cars. As for number four on the list, I'd say a set of wheels. Wheels will change the look on this body style so much. I cannot exaggerate how much they change the look. So before I had these, these are the Boston CVTs. Before I had these wheels, I had performance pack wheels from a 2016 Mustang GT. And before that, I had a set of GT500 wheels from the 07 to 09 Shelbys. And no matter what style rim you go with on these cars, it changes the look drastically to the point where when you look at it, it looks like a completely new car. For you 3V owners out there, or any car owner out there knows how important the wheels are for a cosmetic mod, not for a performance mod, of course. Unless you're going with a drag setup or whatever uh, to match with the tire. And for the fifth mod, I believe is the best on these cars, would be something that isn't really visible, but changes the drive and the feeling of the three valve drastically. So, we all know how long the shifts are on the stock uh, shifter, but I currently have a Hurst short throw shifter, and as you can see, They're super, super short. Look, it, to neutral right now, to third, to fourth. This changes the feeling of the car to the point where driving feels so much smoother, so much nicer. Even though the shifter is notchier, it has its good and its bads. It's, um, some people complain about the notchiness because it clicks when it goes into gear but 
sometimes you don't hear the click or you don't always hear the click so you don't know if it is or not but from my personal experience I always know when my car is in gear thanks to the short throw shifter I've never had to deal with the stock shifter because when I got this one it already came with the Hurst short throw shifter but I've driven another three valve with a different shifter and I can tell you those are so much longer than these are and having to throw your arm like you're rowing a boat just like to shift almost like similar to the two valves not to hate on you guys but you guys have like a weird position for the shift uh, shift knob and it's not really that comfortable but neither was this in stock form so it's not in a list of which one's the best from uh, the first one I said to the last mod but I think those are the top five mods that will change your experience when you have a uh, three valve Mustang yes of course there's more mods such as a uh, a lip, a grill, custom headlights, custom hood, whatever other goodies like my seat delete. But all that is just extra stuff depending on what you want to do if it's cosmetic or performance inclined. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like and comment if you have any questions or even list your top five mods that you've done on your 05 to 09 Mustang or anything that I've missed. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, figure out what mods you should research on or purchase for your 05 to 09 Mustang. I know I've spent a lot of money in the past almost three years of ownership uh, with this car on mods I no longer own just because I bought them and uh, I wasn't sure about it. And so now I don't have a lot of those parts. So before you go and spend your money on these mods that aren't cheap, we all know they aren't cheap, do the research, figure out what it is you want to do, and spend mods, I'd personally say it's nicer to spend mods on things that will change the feel of the car than the look. And thankfully when I purchased my car it had some of those mods. So if you're also looking for an 05 to 09 Mustang, try to find one with slight mods. Because you still want to add your own touch to it, but it'd be nice to have some money put into it already. Alright, so thanks for watching. Drop a like, drop a comment if you want to add anything, and subscribe to your boy if you're not already. Alright.